after a little stomp in Sarajevo. I say Killian ain't worth the bullets to save her. But hey, I'm not gonna start second-guessing Kane like she does. Nope. So if there's one thing I've learned from you, it's that a good soldier follows orders, right? Are you rolling? Are you rolling? Okay. I'm outside Temple Prime, and the news here is terrible. Kane's plan has failed. We can see GDI soldiers stealing our Tiberian weapon. And just hours ago, there was a raid on the temple. We heard shots fired. So far, there has been no sign of Kane. We fear that he may still be trapped inside the temple. I'm getting word right now that GDI is... They're moving an eye on a cannon into position. Let the Earth be transformed. Let all those who believe in the power of Tiberium be transformed with it. Let the Earth be transformed. It's like Nod is almost as bad as all those Christian Nutters in America. But here we go with Act 4. We're in Australia now. And we've got yet another cutscene coming up. Children of Nod, I bring grave news. As many of you know, we were building a liquid Tiberium weapon at our Temple Prime in hopes of ending this awful war. Those hopes were killed, along with our leader Cain, when GDI destroyed our most holy site. We do not have all the details yet, but it appears the Ion Cannon Blast set off a liquid Tiberium explosion beneath the temple. The damage to our yellow zone is unspeakable. Our casualties in the millions. No one can replace Cain. But it is now my duty, my blood oath, to lead our brotherhood through this trying time. And I say there is no time for mourning. We must turn our grief into anger and leave the past behind us. We must put all talk of ascension aside. Our only goal should be to take back this planet, one continent at a time. Tiberium is our divine birthright. Those of you who embrace it will inherit the Earth. Those of you who defile it will feel our fury. Follow me, my children, and I will lead us to victory against GDI. That was a bit of an awkward close-up. Now yeah, we're in Field Command Post, Kings Canyon, Australia. In another yellow, yellow zone. I don't believe this. I grew up near here. And I don't care what Killian says, Kane is not dead. He's too smart, he wouldn't let that happen. No way he'd bail on us like that, there's no way. You hear about Killian's new plan? She wants to steal GDI's nukes, level the playing field. She calls Kane too aggressive. What a joke. And look at this. Killian just put out her first high directive. She wants all military personnel in Australia. It's our last stand. Guess we've got no choice. An order's an order. Man, this sure takes the fun out of being not. Oh, I think GDI is more fun than Nod, but after all, we get to play in Australia finally after all this time. We're in the outback, it seems like on the border between New South Wales, Victoria, and even South Australia. Looks like Australia's rather devastated with lots of Tiberium. So we've got to intercept the GDI nuclear weapons convoy and capture the transports carrying the warheads. All right, Commander, you've got one chance to get the goods. As we speak, GDI is running a convoy from a silo in the outback. Looks like they're moving all their nukes to their Sydney base. First, take out the escort, then grab the warheads. Should be easy to tell the escorts from the transport vehicles. Those suckers aren't small. All right, looks like it'll be an interesting mission. Hopefully it's not going to be timed because I, if there's anything that I hate, it's timed missions. And also those missions where you have to lose to progress in the story, they also make no sense. But, ooh, this is looking nice. Incoming transmission. These transports carry nuclear warheads. Destroy their escorts and capture them for the Brotherhood. 
All right, so I want us to destroy the escort. Interesting. I destroy the Tiberium Tower. I see that is the Tiberium Tower. Ooh, there's something coming up over here. I'm gonna capture the GDI research for. Oh, hello, 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 hello. We should shoot this down first. All right, we made out rather well. Oh, hello. Keep alert. Ambush him. You guys are gonna do me just proud. After all, we are quite overpowered. Uh, wait, we need to destroy this, not capture it. These guys are coming up left, right, and center as well. Okay. Get into position. Take this stuff down. Get the rockets ready. It's like there's a prism tank here somewhere. I think it's one of those scorpion tanks. Um, anything else around that we really need to worry about? Not really. Get into position. It's just these escorts, really. What do you require? Move these what guys up here. All right. So as these venoms. So we need to destroy the guys that are helping the convoy, don't we? We actually don't destroy the convoy itself. Damn it, we lost the unit. Looks like they're running out, they're running away. Interesting to see what they're doing. Secured. Escort them to evacuation zone. Okay. Wait, so we captured everything? They're all up baby here now. Is this where you want us to teleport them or something? Who the hell really knows? Let's go get this guy as well. Let's get the APC first, actually. Then everything will be a heck of a lot easier. Nuclear transport captured. It is now under non control. Alright, and we can start building a lot more guys up here as well. Oh, hello. <laughs> what do they think they're doing? Oh no. It's like Company of Heroes cutscenes during Commander, you're we're playing. This. GDI just activated all their ion cannons in the southern hemisphere. I thought they were going to wipe us off the map in Australia. But they're firing at something in space. Check it out. What the hell's going on? Holy crap! One of those things just landed right here. Sorry, brother. What a quinkiting. Oh god, we can't have no mutants here. Now, who else is protecting these guys? These guys, I assume. Large unidentified force inbound on your location. Go shots. Establishing the invaders are right on top of you, Commander. Nab those nukes and get the hell out of there. Stay quiet. I'm yet to find out where exactly do we need to go. Ooh. Let's just get that mammoth tank first. Damn it, you got us. Transport Z to Z surrendering. Just don't kill anyone else. This is GDI Scout Patrol Epsilon responding to me. Wait. What the hell? Oh, there's no time for that. GDI Central Command, we have alien contact. Repeat, we have alien contact. Requesting. The position. It's all mayhem. What the hell is happening? Carryalls are inbound. Hold out until they arrive. Protect the nuclear transports at all costs. Okay, I'll do my best. Well, I'm rather flustered. I got no idea what's happening. Just keep shooting everything that comes our way, though. I think we're doing a rather decent job. Um, some of these attack bikes come in. Oh damn, that's a massive fleet. 
It's like a never-ending fleet as well. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do anything with GDI over there. Oh, we need help up here. Any help will do. Actually, come back. We've got 40 seconds left. We should come back. Thirty seconds. All our nuke transports are doing mighty fine. We're losing a lot of units though. Should have built more stealth tanks instead of scorpion tanks, but we didn't know that the aliens were coming in though. God damn. All right, it'd be interesting to see what's going to happen with the carryalls or what they bring in. Because at the moment we're getting absolutely raped and pillaged. Oh, here they are. Hopefully there'll be a heck of a lot of stealth tanks coming in. Because that's what we really need. Alright, oh, that was the mission. That's very similar to the, uh, I think it was the Berlin or Burn mission. Where we get our first introduction to the screen. But damn, that was weird. Children of Nod. I'm here to inform you that the war with GDI has taken on an unexpected twist. Less than one hour ago, GDI ion cannons fired upon six unidentified craft in space. These craft were apparently unfazed by the attack. In fact, they dispersed into several dozen smaller craft, landing all over the globe. Well, GDI done goof, didn't they? Already we have reports that these craft have spawned hostile forces of a non-terrestrial nature. These forces are overrunning blue zones and yellow zones, attacking GDI and Nod installations indiscriminately. Unfortunately, we have no intel yet on these new enemies. But one thing is certain. We need to turn our attention away from GDI and defend ourselves against these hostile invaders. Dastardly hostile invaders, that only took us five minutes. I guess the cutscenes were most of the episode, but we'll be back with uh, hopefully some base building based around Nod uh, next episode. But until next time, we'll be back in Australia.